Amanda Freed. I'm Leah Amico. I'm Soraya Flowers. I'm Lovey Jung. I'm Mike Candrea, head softball coach of the women's Olympic softball team. Welcome to Sports School. In these segments, we're going to talk about receiving throws. We're going to begin by talking about the foundation, making sure our feet are able to move to the ball. Then we're going to talk about the proper positioning of our glove. And then we're going to talk about transitioning from the catch to our footwork so that we can make a strong, accurate throw. The first area we'd like to talk about in receiving throws is setting your foundation so that we're able to use our footwork to get to the ball. As you can see right here, Levy's got a great foundation. She's got her feet outside of her hips. She's got flexion in her ankles and her knees. She's in a good athletic position that allows her to move to her right or to her left or right at her. And this is very important. If Levy got a ball to her right side, she can step with her right foot to the ball very easily and secure the catch. And if she gets a ball to the left side, she can move to the left with her left foot and secure the catch. It's very important that you keep your feet underneath you because you never know when you're going to, make a, when you're going to receive a bad throw from another infielder or another outfielder. So your foundation is very important in receiving throws. Another very important area in receiving throws is hand positioning. And I've asked Lovey to take her glove off to show you that we're going to put our hands in a position where our thumbs are up. The other thing that you notice is her elbows are down, and the thing that we want to do is keep our throwing hand as close to our receiving hand as possible. So Lovey's going to put her glove on, and as you see with the glove on, the thumbs are up, her hands are together, her elbows are down, and now she's in a great position. If they throw the ball above her waist, she just makes a quarter of a turn to catch that ball, and if they throw the ball below her waist, she makes a quarter of a turn to catch that ball. If she happens to get caught, with her glove up and they throw the ball below her waist. Now she's got to make a pretty drastic adjustment to catch the ball below her waist. So we want to make sure that the thumbs are up, elbows are down, and then we keep our throwing hand as close to the glove as possible so that we can secure the ball and transfer the ball to our throwing hand as quickly as possible. The next phase we want to talk about in receiving it's a transition from securing the catch to actually making the throw. And this is where footwork comes into play. When we're receiving throws, if we receive a throw, we should be able to receive any throw that is the width of our arms. And the way, way we do that is we step to the ball with our throwing foot. So if the ball's to my right, and I'm going to have Lovey do this, she's going to step to her right, secure the catch, and then she's going to move right into her footwork and be able to make a throw. If the throw happens to go to her left, she'll step to the left, step behind if she needs to get turned to make a throw. If the ball is right at her, then obviously the quickest way is for us to step forward into that 45 degree angle, like we talked about in throwing, and now our hips and shoulders are in line to make a strong throw. Now I'm going to toss a few balls to Lovey here, and I want you to watch the positioning of her glove and how she takes her feet to the ball and makes that transition from the catch to the throw. You notice right there, she's got two hands together so that she's getting rid of the ball as quickly as possible, getting the ball from the glove to the throwing hand. Okay, and that's very good right there. If the ball happens to go to her right, then she would step with her right foot and throw. Once again, right foot and throw. If the ball happens to be right in the center of her body, then actually she can step with her right foot. She's in a great position to make a throw. The key the footwork is to be efficient. We want to be efficient and we want to be quick. We want to be able to catch the ball, get the ball out of our glove as quick as possible, get our feet in throwing position as quickly as possible, and be able to make a strong, accurate throw. Remember, the key to receiving throws is, number one, making sure that you have a good foundation. 
We want to be in a good athletic position. We want to be able to move to our right and to our left if we get a bad throw. Secondly is we want to have a good glove position. We want the thumbs up. We want the uh, throwing hand as close to the glove as possible so that we can transition the ball from the glove to our throwing hand. The third thing is we've got to be in position to be able to step to the ball. If the ball takes us to our right, then Lovey can step to the right, receive the ball, transfer her feet in a position to make a strong throw. If the ball's to her left, she's able to move to her left, again, making that transition. And if the ball happens to be down the middle of her body, then she can step forward with the, her right foot and put herself in a strong position to throw. Efficiency is a key thing when it comes to getting rid of the ball. We need to be really good at positioning of our glove, we need to be really good at positioning of our feet. And if we can put those two things together, we can catch and get rid of the ball as quick as possible and be able to make a strong, accurate throw.